37 minutes I have. I don't, I'll be home before then. I, I know I have a lot of questions I have to address on these videos. Uh, we'll try it one by one, maybe make some really short videos. I know some friends of mine showed me something about uh, I, uh, an alleged prophecy or prediction by Rav Kaduri, Seichet Tzadok Levracha. I remember seeing Rav Kaduri a few times, stopping with him in his Mismedrish, and uh, the, the claim is, that, you know, what, what's being predicted there is so precise about what's going on right now with Israeli politics. It seems to me that it's it looks like a, uh, a forgery. It doesn't doesn't sound like something authentic to, to have such a precise prediction uh, with the exact year, uh, the exact dates, and so many details. And that all of this is coming out just now, and not uh, that this is something on the public record for a long time. I, I'm not saying this to in any way Chas Shalom cast dispersions on Rav Kaduri, but his own his own uh, students, his own family made it clear that they, they, they're, not, they're not talking about this. And uh, the claim is that basically a week from this Shabbos, Mashiach is going to be revealed. The Messiah is coming. What it means he's going to be revealed, it's not so clear what that means. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be crowned as the Mashiach and all these things. But the, you know, the, 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 the claim that it's right before Rosh Hashanah and, and Tav Shin Pei and, uh, and that there will be no government in Israel and there will be two people vying for, to be Rosh Hashanah Shalom. They're both named Binyamin and, uh, and all of these things. It's... Uh, It's, it's too good to be true. That's my take on it. Now the question is, so how much do I want the Geula? I mean, it's interesting that my knee-jerk reaction is, Gemara says, Ein ben David Bad, Shatich l'malchus z'zulus Yisrael. I know there are two different interpretations of what that means. But the simple meaning that's obvious is that as long as there's a Jewish government, there's no, Mashiach can't come. Pretty much that's that's a basic understanding of what it means. Um, although some might say, well here there's no Malchus, there's no government. So that's a fulfillment of that. So that's an interesting idea. Um, so maybe, they're biased. Uh, But, you know, how many people, when they see that, and they're like, no, 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 a anything but that. Meaning, if that's the way Mashiach has to come, that there's no state of Israel, how many Jews would be like, ah, they don't want Mashiach to come if it means that there's no state of Israel before Mashiach comes? Because they're, they have a chesar and a munah. They lack faith. I'm not saying, I, I understand it's a gadita, and it's not necessarily face value, and there's two different interpretations, and some say that the Achetichel Malchus of Lulus means a foreign Malchus, and not a, not a, but that's ruling over Yisrael instead of, instead of a Malchus Yisrael, I, I understand, but self so so let's say that is what it means, how much uh, do, does the average Jew who even he doesn't call himself a Zionist, he's a non-Zionist, a Godist. And if, uh, how much does he want Mashiach to come? If that's what it means, that there's no more Knesset, there's no more Israeli flag, there's no more Hatikva, there's no more Tfilo Shlomo Medina, there's no more Hala and Hayir, there's no more Hayir. There's already no more Hayir. They always make it a different day. But whatever it is, all these things that these people like get obsessed with. Do you want Mashiach that much? You want the Gehula that much that you're willing to give all that up? If that's the, if that's what it really means. 
I'm, I'm, I'm willing. <laughs> the, the other thing is, we can't be daichik in the case. We can't push eschatology, and it's not healthy. It's not healthy for mental health. It's not spiritually healthy to be obsessed with eschatology. We should be familiar with it. We should learn a little bit about it, but not become obsessed. This type of obsession, it, it's, it's often it's a sign of mental illness. I mean, I, I, I see it working with people who are mentally ill, and they can become so obsessed with, with eschatology of whatever faith group, or sometimes of many different faith groups, and it's, uh, it's not healthy. You know, the whole idea of believing that Mashiach is coming means we're going to wait patiently and not, not be weird. We're going to live our lives normally. And I'm, I'm not making this up. This isn't the Satmar thing. This is what Yermio Navi said. He said, don't listen to the false prophets who say we're going to go back before the 70 years. Build houses plant vineyards, get married and have children, and pray for the peace of the city where I sent you, because with their peace is your peace. That's what the Navi Yermio, so Yermio Navi said, Prophet Jeremiah said, and that's it. Just live a normal life, get married, have a family, have a job, and don't be obsessed with Mashiach, because people's lives have been ruined by that. When the shop said Svi, and people got up, and they they tried to move to Israel and they were turned back, and then when they came back to Europe, and their homes were, uh, someone else took their homes, or they sold their homes very cheaply, and it, and, it, and it ruined their lives. And then that led to people losing their faith. So Rav Shach, he said to a lot of the people who were moving out to the Shtachim, he said, don't lose faith when someday these Shtachim are gonna be given back. Because you'll remember there was an old man in, in Bnei Brak, an old Rosh Hashiva, who predicted that these shtachim would be given back. So don't lose your faith. Because for so many people, their whole Jewish identity, even religious people, is linked with Eretz Yisrael, and even worse with Zionism. Eretz Yisrael is holy, I'm not talking against Eretz Yisrael. Even that, Hashem put us in Galus for a reason. And, and Madras says that when Mashiach comes, Eretz Yisrael will be, the Yerushalayim will be as big as Eretz Yisrael, and Eretz Yisrael will be as big as the whole world. I don't think it means the whole world is going to get bigger. I mean, I think it means that wherever we're living now, we're going to stay. And the whole world will be a beautiful, good place. It's not this ethnocentric, you know, about the Jews. It's about the whole world that we have to care about. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment. I'm sorry, I have a bit of a headache. But thank you for watching. Take care.